rotation coming off, still yet to clear the tunnels, so still question marks as to where Dynamo Ekelot are lingering. Clax with his crosshair right on an opponent. Incendiary will go in, does a couple of ticks of damage, he oh. knows they're there, and now he can just spray away. Oh, it's so close. Oh, hold on a second. Shoulder spotted. Geo's not going to get away with that one. So Sensei gifted a pick back on a silver platter. And with that, they're not even going to hesitate. They're going to go straight into B. Don't let these rotations come through. Don't give them the time to set up against you. But as soon as I say that, they slow it down. Max 5 is going to be allowed to cheat all the more closer already with two on the round. Now Pfizer, he's been so rock solid on this B site so far. You can't imagine he's going to go a speechless in this round. Even X5 catching one or two on the cross. Damage inflicted. defizer has got one. And the bomb is still yet to go down with 18 seconds to go. Sensei's running out of ground to walk on. He's got to find this pick. Scoping around with the off. You know he's here. He's got to come up and walk this frag in. Because you know Defizer's still oh here. Oh my god. He doubles down on one HP. Sensei. That was a round deciding pick. And now it's the clutch for K23 required. Sad again. It's going to be up to him. This time with a lot more to work with than just a measly one HP. And Sensei's got the timing perfect on the angle. Finally some good news for Ikla who tried to turn this oh, half he... around. As all his presence denied as well. A couple of bullets to the body. Keeps him honest. Keeps Minio. Up close and personal. Misses the opening opportunity. And the second does good damage. Can't find a frag. Kai is back for more. Two through the smoke. And with 30 seconds to go, maybe a save call here as Kai, my god, what? he's going to find two more. The fact that no one's able to trade that kill is a bit embarrassing for Flames here. And Kai, he's done it again. It's an ace. It's a five-man stack. That oh, makes that one work. And it's quite open. Borup's just going to tuck himself in towards default. And this is a very interesting little set of post plants. Nine creeping on forward. Smoke on the bomb already. Borup finds one. Oh, and a second. Even the third through the smoke. Borough, how are you doing this? Four kills. Rescues the round for Plays ahead of the smoke. By these advanced positions, it means that fours just have to jump on Harvu. Well, looking like they got the jump on them again as Shelfie rips two heads from their shoulders. And he's going to find another one. Ariel doesn't even clear the corner. He predicted he'd gone back through the smoke. And Shelfie, he's going to find a fourth. This man is on for the ace. A resurgence from Shelfie now. A man I was praising in the pregame since 11 and 3 come round number 8 and X7. I mean, there's nothing he can do to win this round. It would take a feat of heroics unbeknownst to either side on the server thus far today. And Shelfie, he's looking for the ace. Picks on in. And he's going to find him. That is what Trapped we need towards to see. CT. We'll not be able to deny the bomb plant here. And that is a unicorn start to the round. And nobody has yet gone down. Zane catches ahead of Jerry. Shalfie returns fire onto two as X7 snatches one more life away. Zorta continues to kill up the kill up the fill feed. Fill up the kill feed, Brandon. As his 3v2 will now ensue. As Zorta continues to overwatch from heaven. Ariel, though, cuts him down swiftly. And Ariel, my goodness, the second shot is gorgeous. And Ariel's going to find all three. Parvu, an impeccable retake and a strong start against K. Capitalize K in the meantime, coming in from outside. The AWP doesn't connect. Molotov to go through as well. Peek out from Garage. Grashog does become a bit more proactive in taking care of outside. But look at how much space has been given up to nine. That's so huge. Taz with another oh my goodness a double minio now left in a very very difficult position a minute on this clock i think he's gonna have a stab at it his teammates don't have a huge amount of cash but he's got a nice position Tan creeping round oh ho, ho. even quick enough for the headshot six hp survives with but who cares it's enough gets it done really really clean stuff massive round from taz as well the man Calling the strats, finding the frags. He's doing it all right here on Nuke. Just oh, a one-man arm. Happen. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's just all the information there. They know where the bomb is. Now they know that Honorus was trying to pull a fast one on them and try to go for that 4-1 split. Kyler switching over to you. He wants to make sure that his HLTV looks nice and pristine and is able to lap up all four. I'm here, but Corey is giving up the site. They're covering crosses, but there's an op actually. But they have to get past first run boost. Oh, they actually plucked it out with the op, but no more. Maddie's going to find himself another. 
And oh, he oh. finds all three. He the drops smoke as well. They have your number. They have all the information in the world. Now they just have to capitalize off of this, and they still have a molly, an extra one. They're getting flanked in from connector. There's no reroute Ooh. here. Scrug somehow lands it, but the bomb drop. Prism finds two more to add to the tally. 30 seconds left. He gets another 3k back to back to back. He does it again, and he goes for four. He does it all. Prism cannot be stopped.